Today we're taking a look at the Pop Television number 380 DC's Legends of Tomorrow White Canary vinyl figure. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Gun TV where all geek culture collides. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. We do pop reviews every Tuesday right here on Comic Gun TV. Today, we're taking a look at the pop television number 380 DC's Legends of Tomorrow White Canary vinyl figure. Alright, so as we can see here, we got a nice little window display here. We got White Canary on the front here, window on the side. White Canary, White Canary 380 Pop Television on the back. We've got Pop Television 380 White Canary DC's Legends of Tomorrow. Number 377 is Hawk Girl. Number 378 is The Atom. Number 379 is Hawkman. Number 380 is White Canary. And 381 is Firestorm. I have already reviewed Firestorm. I have them in my personal collection. Collect all of the Legends of Tomorrow Pop Super Stylized Vinyl Figures. And then you have the display side here, which is very nice. Got the bluish, purplish background there. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's take a look inside the box. And it is one of the older style clamshells, no clips on the top or bottom. Um, and she does not come with a display stand. Um, and she really needs one. As you can see, she's kind of top heavy. Uh, not your typical female sculpt. As I said, not your typical female sculpt because as you can see, standing aside Harley Quinn, uh, who's very straight legged, a uh, very narrow frame. She's got a wider body. Um, it's because White Canary is kind of a thicker character on the show. More of a healthier look rather than uh, super skinny like some of the other characters in the uh, DC Comics CW Arrowverse. Um, which really fits the, the character she is. Because she is a martial artist. She was once a member of the League, uh, League of Assassins, trained by Ra's al Ghul, uh, fell in love with his daughter, Nissa al Ghul. Uh, her head does move a little bit. Her hair in the back kind of hinders it. Um, got nice detail on the costume. It is kind of a pleather costume in the show. Uh, it, it feels kind of rubbery to me. Uh, kind of a softer plastic almost. Um, but it is all white. They did not do uh, skin tone for the upper chest and neck because uh, in the show it is her costume does cut off right there. Um, white leather jacket. White gloves. You got the skin tone inside the gloves there where it uh, Velcros together. Very nice. I like how they really paid, atten paid close attention to detail. Uh, I will say she should come with they should have sent her with a display stand. Uh, and if not a display stand, then they should have at least included a hole in her foot. So that if you have a display stand, you could put her on it. Because she will not, yeah, she will not stand up by herself. Um... And I give, I think that's probably because of her hair. Her hair makes her very uh, back heavy. Um, maybe if they would have had her arms 
out, like in a fighting stance. Uh, that could have helped balance things out a little bit. Uh, but yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, grab the handy dandy tape measure. See how tall she is. She is about three and a half inches tall. Um, maybe a little bit more. So there you have it, guys. Pop Television, number 380, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, White Canary Vinyl Figure. Uh, she is one of my favorite characters on the show, uh, along with Firestorm. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on new pop reviews every Tuesday right here on Come Again TV. I'm Shannon. Take care, guys.